Hey, hey guys, it's Dave here. It is, I don't even know what time it is, like 6.30 maybe? I just finished, I just finished, I don't know, about four mile run, maybe a little under, um, in where I live, which um, is full of a lot of hills. Um, I really worked on speed and tempo today, but I did today's run, actually, I did today's run for different reasons. And a lot of it came on my mind during my run of why I did today's run. So let me set this up for you and why I have this message for you guys. So, and don't mind me because I'm like still out of breath from this run and I'm trying to talk to you guys. So I worked out this morning for just under an hour, my normal workout that I do um, <clears throat> at like five o'clock in the morning before work. I did it, right? And today I really been thinking about some big, big goals that I want to do and some things I want to achieve because I have learned that you never ever want to stay where you are. You never want to stay static because there's no such thing as staying static. You're either growing or you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're actually going in reverse and you're not getting any better because as human beings, we're constantly evolving. So I was thinking about some things and sorry about the sunlight that I want to accomplish over the next year. 10 months and it looked like Mount Everest in my mind. It looked like Mount Everest on paper and it looked like Mount Everest on a lot of things I want to achieve. And I came home today and I got home from work and I got out of the car and the temperature is perfect. It's probably in the 60s and it's perfect running weather. And for those of you that have followed me for years know that I have run marathon I said, you know what? I am going to go for a run today. Even though my legs are sore and I'm tired, I'm gonna go for my run. And this is why. Guys, often in our life, we, I'm gonna go into my pool area here because I need to sit. We don't always choose to do what we know is right. We tend to choose to do what other people, what other people, opinions will cause us to do the things that we think they will approve of. We choose to often do the things, I'm going to sit down, that is often the path of least resistance. We choose to do the things in life that deep down we know are not going to get us to where we want to go, but we choose to do them because they're easy. We choose to do them because they're comfortable. We choose to do them because we feel that we can check that box off that we in fact did something when in fact all we did was basically nothing. We stayed in the same place. So when I came home today and I thought about my goals and I was tired and my legs hurt and knowing the hills that are here within the area we live, I chose to do this workout because I knew it was gonna be hard. I chose to do this because mentally I know it was gonna challenge me not only physically, but it was gonna challenge me to push myself. It was gonna challenge me to get uncomfortable. It was gonna challenge me to do something I didn't wanna do. And I do this so that my mind is stronger tomorrow so I can tackle the goals I wanna reach. And when life throws curveballs at me, I'm prepared to face them because I choose to do things each day that are uncomfortable. And I'm here to tell you that if you're not happy with where you are, you are a product of the choices and decisions you made up until this point. Fact. It has nothing to do with your spouse, has nothing to do with your family, has nothing to do with the place you live, the work that you're in. You are responsible for your actions and you are a byproduct of the choices and decisions you made up until this point. So if you want things to change for the better, you're going to have to do things that often aren't on the path of least resistance. And you know what's amazing about this? You have a choice right now, right this second, to let go of whatever it is in the past and to focus on now and to choose the things that you know are gonna move yourself forward in whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Because I think so often, I see it. I see it everywhere. Mediocrity, mediocrity, people complaining. They're blaming the government. They're blaming the politicians. The biggest one is we're blaming the president on everything that's happened. Do you really think that if that if we had a different president that all of a sudden you're gonna be wealthy, healthy, fit, and have happiness in your life? Do you really think 
that the people around you and those people, the naysayers or the government and the president really affects the bottom, the true bottom line of your bank account? Heck no. Do you really think the things around you affect what you do? Yeah, they're affecting what you do, so you're choosing to do what's easy. So I'm here to tell you that if you want things to change, you need to change and you need to start doing the things that are hard. You need to start doing the things that maybe aren't well liked because the other thing I'm gonna tell you now is when you choose to do things that are hard and you choose to do things that aren't the norm and you choose to do things that most people aren't doing, you're gonna have naysayers and critics and people are gonna hate and hurt people hurt people. Let me say that again. Hurt people hurt people. It's the people that hurt the most that tends to hurt others the most because you will never, ever, ever find somebody that is more successful than you in whatever it is you're trying to accomplish that's ever gonna criticize you in a negative way for what you're trying to do. So you have to understand that it's going to be hard, it's not gonna be easy. So today, the last part of my run is all uphill and I was gasping for air and I was dying. I even caught myself saying, oh my God. And I pushed myself and I pushed myself. Why mind over matter? Mind over matter because I know, David, if I want to achieve these great things, if I want to have these great accomplishments, that my mind is going to have to be stronger than 98, 99% of everybody else in this world that chooses to do things that are easy and chooses to do things that they feel are going to give the most approval by people that are closest to them. Screw the approval. Screw that, guys. Go after the things that are going to make you better so that you can live the life you want to live. And it doesn't just have to be your health and fitness, guys. It's anything in your life. Your business, your relationships, your marriage. Maybe you got to bite the bullet, dads, and say sorry to your wife for something that maybe you know deep down is going to be hard for you to bite the bullet. Maybe you need to be a better father and stop, you know, you know, try to be a public success and a private failure. You know what that is? In the public's eye, you try to be great and dandy, but in private, behind the closed doors in your house, you're failing because you're not there for your kids and your spouse. Stop choosing to do the things that you think make you look good. Stop letting your ego get in the way and start doing the things that are gonna truly, truly grow you as a person, grow you as a human being. And, and then I'm gonna tell you this, when they grow you, your kids are gonna watch what you do. If you really wanna leave a legacy behind, it's about people that remember what you did and how you made them feel. People don't remember what you said, but they absolutely remember how you make them feel. So today, I know I'm a little bit all over the map, but my point is this. Get out of your comfort zone. Stop doing what's freaking easy. I keep saying it. Choose to do hard and your life will change. And it starts right now. Stop procrastinating, saying tomorrow. Stop complaining. Stop blaming. Stop making every freaking excuse in the book and start doing something about it. It's nobody else's job to support your dream and your goals but yourself, all right? Because nobody, nobody has handed me anything that I wanted in my life. Every single darn thing that I've had to work for from when it was I was a little kid, for those of you who know my story, with a picture machine to an ocean lifeguard to where I am in my state police to being one of the top coaches in the business that I, that I work to mentoring and leading people, nobody's handed this to me. And if I let the naysayers and critics control my mind, I would still be where I was 10 years ago and I wouldn't be where I am. Choose to leave the pack and choose to lead yourself and rule yourself to where you wanna go. Guys, have an amazing day. I gotta get inside my family and I'll take care of you guys and talk to you soon, bye-bye.